Hi, I'm Brandon Go. I'm a owner chef, Hayato restaurant downtown LA. This is an instructional video to help you make your nabe at home. You're gonna need tabletop burner, uh, some kind of pot to cook it in, a slotted spoon, and a ladle to serve in, uh, bowls to, to eat out of. Part of the experience of eating nabe is sipping the broth and eating at the same time. So I recommend something like a miso soup bowl. Only thing that's possible to screw up is to spill the dashi before you put it in. If you have a pitcher or something, we usually pour the bag into a pitcher first and then pour it in here because it's easy to spill out. Once it does start to simmer, you can leave it at a low simmer and just keep it there until you're done. Usually what I do, I'll take about half of the, the vegetables that take longer to cook and add a little bit of sweetness to the broth and I'll put that in before everything else. So I'm gonna put in some of the, the Tokyo Negi, the turnip kabu. Any of the mushrooms, these tend to take a while to cook and they add some flavor to the dashi. All this stuff is at least five or six minutes of cooking. This is the setup before you start getting into the seafood and other things. Cook about five minutes, you see the, the negi start to soften. The turnips, you could kind of tell they're translucent on the edges. This point is where we can start adding seafood. Current seafood nabe that we're serving, uh, there's a few highlights in there. Of course, the heavy shinjo is a, basically a shrimp meatball. Amadai is a type of tilefish really special for, for Japanese cooking and kaiseki. The crab cooks extremely quickly, so we're gonna put this in just for maybe 30 seconds to a minute. When it starts to shrink a little bit and you see these ripples is, is about when I like to eat it. Amadai, this, uh, this tile fish, we sear over charcoal before we start. The amazing thing about this fish is there's a lot of collagen in it and so it doesn't really get tough. You can cook it four or five minutes until it absorbs a little bit of the dashi and heat it through. Myself and whoever I'm eating with, you can have some of this. Cover if it looks ready, might as well try one. The best way to enjoy it is to pour yourself about a cup of broth into the bowl, let it cool off a little bit, and then keep it about that level while you're eating. And I wouldn't worry too much about overcooking or undercooking. All the vegetables could be eaten raw if you really wanted to. So it just is a matter of how much you want it to soften as you're eating. In Japan, at the end of nabe, there's always some kind of shime. There's a rice or noodles at the end kind of top you off. Uh, in this case we have somen. The professional way would be to cook it in a pot like you would pasta. So you're gonna boil water in the kitchen, drop this in for 90 seconds to two minutes. You strain it out, rinse it with a little bit of cold water, and then you could just drop that finished noodles in here and then serve out of this pot. An uh, important thing to me when I design this dish is to make sure that it was fresh and light tasting so you can taste delicate ingredients. One thing you try to avoid is boiling it too much and having this reduced before you start eating. If it gets too strong, you can add water or you can add more dashi. You should have more than enough dashi to cook for at least an hour and a half. 